What's up, y'all? Hey, you guys. It's Giovanni. And it is Kindle Fire. And we are here to spit some real to y'all today. Okay, period. So we decided that we were going to collab, and we came up with Sipping With My Sis. Okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and when we do this, we just want to spit that real talk to y'all, um, how we feel, our perspectives on certain topics that we either come up with or that y'all come up with. So we are here to just give our side of the story. And nigga bash. We are here to nigga bash. I'm just playing. Um She's not playing. I'm not because <laughs> <laughs> Because, listen, Giovanni and I are, I don't know, like, God just really made us as the same person in different bodies. Because we are always going through the same thing <laughs> at the same time. We've been friends since freshman year, and this is about <laughs> our, what, third time being single together? Gotta be. Um, that is not our fault, It's though. not. Um, it's so not. It's just, and I want y'all to believe that, because it's true. <laughs> It's really not our fault. And I ain't never met two other people like that be giving a all to these niggas. They all. Come on, Saya. They be giving a all to these niggas down to tears before sleep, brother. Like, you feel me? And these niggas just and not what happens? Shit. What happens, Giovanni? They just fail to meet the standard. <laughs> and what I don't comment. get is y'all figure out what y'all lost after y'all lose it. After the boys and girls they just handle relationships differently you are in your relationship you break up the first week niggas fooling mind you fooling, know, fooling off like, the charts <laughs> literally <laughs> literally so, like, niggas be distracting themselves heavy it, it makes you think like is. did we just did he it, maybe the relationship didn't end maybe <laughs> like, it didn't start right what happened like what why is it so easy for you to just like <laughs> end this one, two, or four, or four, um, your relationship and like, just go Damn, wild. Did I, did I matter to you at all? Like, exactly. Then and you start then, thinking like, is it me? Like, yeah, and then you start feeling some way about yourself. That makes it even worse. So you're just sitting in this cocoon, you know, crying and sad, you know. And then I don't know about y'all, but um, because Kendall Savage lives within, it really <laughs> only it takes me about two to three weeks, um, to break a habit. So I literally. It can only be crying and, you know, thinking about somebody that's not thinking about me for a maximum of three weeks. Um, and then at that point, even if I'm not necessarily dating, I'm just not going to be, like, wallowed up in my misery. I, yeah. I, just, I can't. It, it, I can't give somebody that much energy. Once the relationship ends, like, I cut all communication. I unfollow everybody. Okay, <laughs> listen, listen. I remove I, myself from the situation. I, myself. I will make it easier I, on listen, you. I will okay. take myself from the situation. When I say cut you ties. You don't got to do it. You don't got to do it. I got listen, you, I got you. Let me do you one more favor. I'll block you. Okay, thank you. So, and, and that's not, like, out of bitterness. A lot of people make it seem you like do if you block them, for yourself. you, you mm -hmm. won. Like, no, no it's not about mm -hmm. bitterness. It's like, I don't want you to contact me. I don't want because you for I, my you know, And let me tell you why. Point. Let me tell you why I started to block people because, you know, <laughs> blocking has not been a feature on iPhone for, like, forever. Like, in high school, we couldn't just block people. You know, like, you had to get the message and you had to choose to ignore it or not. My ass was ignoring sure. them. But still, as I got older, it's like when you get in a cycle where you know, like, okay, it's going to go like this and then this and then this and around this time is when they're going to start hitting me back up. If you just automatically block them, once they decide they know your worth and once they decide they realize what they lost and they want to come back now and they want some attention. But that's the thing, too, because they always they try to come get back. because you're blocked. They always try to come back, though. Because some niggas get creative. Oh, it's been times where I've literally Listen, been minding my hip. own business. Me and Justin were I'm sitting hip. at the house, you know, in the apartment. We're sitting in my phone just bing, 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 bing. bro. I'm like, it's her find this? your iPhone was going off. I'm like, who is trying to find you? It's these niggas. And we literally just stopped and like, you know who it is. I'm like. And that's the shit, too. Like, that's the thing that's frustrating <laughs> in relationships when, you know, <laughs> Somebody is doing something, Ooh. and because of, like, what they're doing, they assume you're doing the stuff. And it's just, like... That's their own insecurity, Yeah, though. it's, like, it'd be your own insecurities. Mm -hmm. And I, and honestly... <laughs> listen, here. No, I'm not the good thing about me is that. I come from both ends, okay? I come from the being cheated on, but I come from the cheater, too. So I do understand, like, 
sometimes being, you know, <laughs> assertive. I do sometimes like... <laughs> I've changed. I found God. Excuse but me? like but but you know, just like from the past, you know, like you doing stuff. Yeah. You just <laughs> necessarily accept. You yeah. expect that they're doing stuff. So my goats. I said bitch. So you no real talk, like Yeah. You assume no, that bitch. they're doing stuff. <laughs> But let me tell you, and this is where it started, though. I'm just going to be real because I'm sick of people always talking about me being a cheater. <laughs> Listen, this is, how, this is how it begun. I was 14 years old. Okay. No, fuck that. I was six, okay? I was dating Savine Keys <laughs> <laughs> at uh, Great Lakes Academy in Pontiac, Michigan. What's his name? I to- his name was Savine Keys. I told Savon that I did not want to kiss him yet because I was a cl- I've been a classy person, you know. Okay, because we was in first grade at this point. I was in kindergarten here, and <laughs> I he kissed my friend under the side, and I saw it, and I'm like, dang, like you couldn't wait. Like I didn't say forever; I just said now. Girls you know? was and, like, and I seen you over there I by the swings. Exactly, and that, but that's when I learned what these dudes was about. That's when I learned in the eighth grade. I feel like isn't Kendall. Savage was born because that's when I was dating this dude. He was in the 10th grade and I didn't know anything about high school because I was in the 8th grade. And he, he had a whole other girlfriend. I didn't know. They looked just like me, which was weird. We're actually really good friends now. But <laughs> she gave me her ID and that's how I got through undergrad until I turned 21. Um, but uh-huh. Yeah, okay. we're really good friends. But regardless, Y'all it's like, like that. I just feel like I learned what dudes were about very early on in life. So once I learned that, <laughs> I was just unable to give certain emotions to them. And it's been like that. And then I, I finally, like in my last relationship, was like, okay, you know what? Maybe it's me. I'm going to try. I'm going to be whatever. And then that's how you get. That's how we women get. We get to the point where... Oh, it's me. Let me fix this about myself. Let me do this. And they still fuck up. So then you'd be like... Why would I give my all to a nigga? I'm about to respect you being love. You be trying to make it work and shit, but... Love is blinding. It is. And you be trying to cover up all them red flags because you just want to make it work. And that shit is not worth it. Like... If you see a red flag early on, that's God telling you, like, all right, <laughs> you testing the waters. <laughs> you, Time to pull on back. Tide's you, getting a little you, large. You're running in them waters a little deep now, okay? <laughs> it might, it's okay to have a little fun, but <laughs> when you start... Play around the edges, but you're getting... Please getting... do not dive in, <laughs> yeah. okay? Listen. And we, I dive every time. Yeah. And so does Justin. Because we love hard, and we just, I mean... I feel like, too, even though you love hard to the wrong people, it's the right people. Because you got to learn. And you learn what you like and what you dislike in people. And it makes you stronger. All the positives. But that should be irritating. That's some irritating ass shit. It is. And it's it's irritating. So you think you're over something and... You think that you've been, like, delivered from enough hell for men and you, like, found this, like, the one that's just so different and he's just whatever. And they end up being the same nigga. And then you just be like, how or, many more do or, I have to or get? Or worse. Or worse. Or worse than the, it'd be the same nigga but worse. You know, it's, it's and, like that nigga went and, like, charged up in an ain't shit nigga factory listen, and came back stronger. These niggas like, is wearing what? Iron Man suits at this point. What are you <laughs> these niggas? Come in seeming so good. But you know what, too? I, I, I self-internalize a lot. And mm-hmm. so I feel like a lot of that is what I look for in a person. So then what I need to figure out is why am I chasing this type of person? What am I looking for? What am yes. I looking for in that person that I don't give myself? Or, you know, like, mm-hmm. is it something that has gone in the past that makes me look for a certain type of person like that? But... Like God, me. I am done dating toxic people. What do you feel I'm, like? I'm done. If you <laughs> want to just have okay. mercy on my soul, I don't want no more. I'm good. I'm so I'm good, son. Dad, dad. Thank you. I'm Many good. Listen, I prayed that I the other night. I was like, please don't send me The next me time you send somebody send my, my way. I don't want The next listen. time you send somebody my way. Listen. listen if <laughs> another person breaks my heart, I'm 
going to jail. Just cut niggas off. That's you why, listen, you just have to cut. You can't give that energy you to cannot. people. It's too precious. And energy, we only have so much energy in a day. And if you're giving so much, like, listen, anger and I already energy go to through. Else, exactly. I already go through yeah. enough. You need to be my, my, my happy place. You need to be, you do not need to be causing me no stress. It's just I'm not going to cause you none. Well, we need to just be on we, the. We don't push that narrative, though. Like, it, how you always see, like. Because we get comfortable. We always, no, I'm saying, like, in society, like, we, we always see see like this idea that the woman is supposed to like be this man's peace he's gonna go out in the world as this big black man and everything's so you know stressful on him and he comes back and you're supposed to love him and all that I'm, I'm with all that black love you know all of it but why like you supposed to be my piece too because it's not like the you know 1940s like I'm working too I'm in school too you know so you need to be making sure like that you're my piece. Boys don't think about that all the time. Some do. I, men do. But I think that's the biggest thing is like people don't realize that if you would just be your woman's piece, if you would put your woman at peace, she's going to put you at 10 times more. Because think about all the time that you have stressed your woman out. Think about all the times you're cheating on her, you're doing all types of crazy <laughs> shit to her that you're not supposed to be doing. And she's still riding for your dumbass yeah. for whatever reason. God knows why. But for some reason, she's still riding <laughs> for your dumbass. Imagine what she would do if you actually treated her right and then i'm at the stage in my life at 23 i'm not telling a nigga how to do anything Listen. i'm not raising anybody's son because nobody raised me I'm not no nigga comes and tells nobody. me what to do as a woman I'm not tell so I'm not i shouldn't have to no tell man. you what to exactly. do you i to shouldn't have to plan red. dates i shouldn't have to drive i okay. shouldn't have to pay when i'm with my father <laughs> Listen, let me tell you when i'm with my father who's a great a great black man I am, I know that I am safe. I know that I will get from point A to point B. I know that my, I will be fed. And I know that I'll be financially set. In a way, you, I don't want to say you replace a girl's father because you're never going to replace a girl's father. But in a way, like the opposite sex, you're supposed to do things. You know, as a woman, you start kind of doing things that his mom did. Like, you know, like laundry and cooking and stuff like that. Not because you are his mom, but that's just your role as a wife. As a husband, you start to take care of things that, you know, your wife might have went to her father for. I feel like you guys need to just compliment each other. Exactly. You guys need to be on a communication basis. And this is something that I've never experienced is building a friendship with a person before, ooh, shit, before getting into a relationship. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I've never built a steady foundation. And that's something that I noticed about myself. And I don't know why that happens. I think because I move too fast, but yeah, that's a, that's a flaw that I have. And... It's just something that's hard to control sometimes when you get caught up with somebody and you they saying all the right stuff, you just be like, huh, shit. Sounds good. You know, right? You think. <laughs> Sounds I'm right. all or nothing type of nigga, but mm -hmm. I just, I don't know. that. Um, if you guys just need to compliment each other, you guys need to make sure that communication is like <clears throat> laid out. You guys are on a on the same level. You guys understand each other. If you have a problem, talk about it ahead of time. Get that shit out the way. Like, don't be hiding shit it, there should be nothing sneaky that you there should be nothing that you have to hide from mm -hmm. your significant other if you have to hide anything from that person it's cheating basically it's cheating it's cheating i get attracted to the dudes that are like unapproachable i mean the dudes that like all the girls like but you never know like who he's talking to or if he like he may be only talking to one or two people you don't like I, I like like how y'all expect a girl, too. you know, y'all don't want y'all girl to be with everybody. I don't we don't want our men to be with everybody neither. The problem is all of y'all are for everybody, so people end up settling. But I guess I'm just past the point in my life where I'm 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 past settling. I feel like there is somebody out there, I don't know where he at. He ain't but there's somebody out there that's he definitely looking not in Michigan. For me, like he's how not I'm looking. In Michigan. You don't think he's in Michigan? Hell no. Nah. I think he's uh he tech he slid in my um Facebook DMs the other day. <laughs> I am, like, excited to start dating. I've never, like, dated in my adult life. I've always had a boyfriend. I went from, like, one very long, draining relationship to another longer, more draining relationship. We're mature. We don't have to just go to the movies. Like, we can go dance or go, I don't know, do grown-up shit. Like, I've just never dated and just dated ever. Ever, 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 ever. Always have Neither somebody. Have I. I always oh. have somebody. You know what? I, I, I'm the one that always dives in. Talk about... <laughs> These niggas dive in.